Alright, so, have you ever crafted a badge on Steam and gotten a coupon for a Steam game? You have? Well, that's interesting. Have you ever gone and looked at that game? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And did you ever buy that game? See, I've made that mistake a few times. And most of the times, the games end up being pretty mediocre to pretty bad. And this game... It's no different. It's called Volokstys or something. I don't know. Can you read this? I can't read this. So, a long time ago, I got a coupon for this game, and I believe I ended up getting a 75% off of a dollar. So I got this game for 25 cents. Like, seriously, you go to the arcade and spend 25 cents on a game. You can't even find 25 cent games in an arcade these days. But I mean, you go to the arcade and you find 25 cent game, you're like, yeah, sure, I'll try it. This looks like terrible, but I'll go for it. It's 25 cents. Why not? Well, that was my mentality going into it. And frankly, I kind of wish I didn't spend it. So what did that quarter get me? Well, that quarter at the time got me a bad Minecraft ripoff. Uh, it's hard to believe considering that this is what the Steam page looks like now, but at the time it was really just a crappy Minecraft ripoff where you placed and removed blocks and it was so buggy. Um, this is my uh, Steam review for the game. You can see that I put too much time into it, just ripping it apart. And now, well, it's a medieval walking simulator. Like, seriously, that's that's it. You walk around. There is no sound, no music, nothing at all. So we gotta set up our profile. What should my name be? Alec and I sh did kid it. Why not? I mean, come on. Look at the name. It's beautiful. So, yeah, you can see we're just kind of walking around. The textures don't look half bad. The jumping is floaty, but interesting. It's pretty confused when I open it up. If you hit escape, it just takes you right back to the menu. There's no options. And if you listen closely, you'll realize that... There's no sound in this game. You hear that? Yeah, I don't, I don't hear anything either. Do you? No. Everything looks pretty clean and stylized, but I can't help but think that this is just stuff taken from an asset store. There's a couple funny spots here and there where I find a gap that didn't quite fit me. I'd kind of go into almost sort of looking like a T-pose. I also found this little staircase, which is interesting because I could step on this box and then jump up to here and then get up on the roof and start climbing around. And for some reason, it was actually kind of fun, which is kind of sad because inside this asset flip trash quarter dollar game, which is now four dollars for some reason, was an actually decent little challenge to just try and jump from rooftop to rooftop like if the developer wasn't a scam artist and wanted to actually put effort into this i don't know put a couple npcs in here because it feels so empty i don't know maybe there's maybe there's a game hidden in here that's worth playing so after a while i figured my goal would be to get outside the map i wanted to get beyond the castle doors so to do that, I jump up to this red roof, go across to the green roof, get on its roof, peek, jump across, and you have to get up on the chimney to make it across to that side, jump down, jump across. You gotta be careful, especially with this jump, the edges of the roofs would make you slide off, but not the tops, which is very interesting. And then one quick jump. And there we go. We have exited the map. And beyond here, I don't know, it was kind of fun exploring. There's the map edge. Almost fell off. You 
you start climbing the hills. There's actually a decent amount of stuff back here that you couldn't normally even see. Like this little house back here. Again, if the developer actually cared about this game, I don't know, there could be a decent little parkour game to this. Add some objective areas and try and let the player figure out how to get from one place to the other. Maybe you could even make it a stealth game. Make it so that you had to avoid guards while doing it. You've got a sword on your hip, why, you know, why not use it? And after looking for a while in the Unity Asset Store, I found it. This is the, this is the assets that the game uses. It's funny that there's other character models that it just doesn't use, but look, there's our little protagonist right there. Sword on his hip and everything. You know, it makes me sad that this is the kind of stuff that's on Steam. And what makes me even sadder is the fact that I'm not even surprised. <sighs> well, he paid 20 bucks for this. I paid 25 cents. So, hooray for me.